Okay, so I just got back from an early screening of Deadpool and Wolverine, and here are my thoughts on it. Let me first just start off by saying this is the best Deadpool movie, this is the best X-Men movie, this is the best Fox Universe movie ever. I had a really good time watching this. Uh, this is probably the best Marvel movie since Endgame. Uh, it's better than Guardians. I, I'm not sure if it's better than No Way Home. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't have the biggest expectations going into this movie. I didn't want to get disappointed like Multiverse of Madness, but this is the true Multiverse of Madness. This movie has more cameos than the fucking Flash. It has everything you want. It has action, comedy, everything about this movie was great. Um, let me just start off with the comedy. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Ryan Reynolds' comedy and the jokes he puts in the Deadpool movies. Like, cause they're really obscure jokes, but a lot of these jokes didn't have me laugh out loud. Probably not as much as, you know, Deadpool 2, but I was, I was 12 years old when I saw that in the theatre. So it's kind of understandable. Um, the action was absolutely breathtaking. The opening scene in with the title cards and the blood. It was so creative. This is the best action out of any Deadpool movie. Um, it's the best action I've seen in a very long time in any Marvel or action movie ever. I really enjoyed the story and how, you know, we see Deadpool's transition into the MCU technically. Uh, you know, a lot of people say the, patient, the pacing was rushed, but, and I, I do agree. Uh, I, I was on board with it though until like, I'd say... Around where Deadpool and Wolverine get sent to the void, that's kind of when the movie started to go, oh, all right, what are we doing here? But the, like, the first act of this movie was amazing. Uh, I was super on board with it. Uh, they somehow brought back Wolverine after Logan and made it make sense. They kind of, they do make fun of, uh, you know, the movie Logan a lot and they kind of like shit all over like, oh, how come he's dead? He, he shouldn't have died like that, you know? But they do pay respects to the Logan and, you know, I... I did watch Logan the night before watching this movie, and I, I will say it's not disrespectful at all. Even though they do bring uh, X23 back, which they really shouldn't have shown in the trailer. That, that really pisses me off. Um, but yeah, there are a lot more cameras than just her, I will say. I'll talk more about that in the spoiler section. Cassandra Nova as a villain, she was... You know what, she could have been a lot worse, let me just say that. When I heard it was going to be her, just a female, Pro Professor Xavier, his, his, his like sister or something, you know... I was kind of disappointed. I wanted like Scarlet Witch or something as a villain, but she's, she still works, you know. I would definitely say she's better than Ajax uh, from the first movie. I'm not sure if she's better than Cable. I'll, I'll just say she's better than Cable. She, she was kind of menacing and she had like a lot of creepy scenes and like the CGI fingers. That was really cool. Um, you know, she's not the biggest part of the movie. She's not like the heart of this movie. The heart of this movie, you know, it's an emotional movie. It's not just, you know, action, comedy, explosions. This is probably like one of the most emotional Deadpool movies, which is saying a lot because they do have a lot of emotion. Um, let's talk about spoilers. So if you have not seen this movie or, you know, you don't want to get spoiled, just click off. But if you have seen the movie or you do want to get spoiled, keep watching. So we finally get to see Channy Tatum as Gambit. Um, you know, I wasn't that shocked by seeing this. I, I heard a lot of rumors about him coming into this movie. Um, you know, he's probably my least favorite cameo. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of X-Men or Gambit, but I, I do know, like, he's a good friend with Ryan Reynolds. So it was fun seeing him. He was kind of like the comic relief of all the cameos. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really care that, that much though. He was just cool to have around. A cameo I really wasn't expecting was Wesley Snipes' Blade. He came out of nowhere. When he walked in, I was like, what the fuck? This was probably the most shocking cameo of all because I, I haven't heard any rumors about him being in the movie. So seeing him was awesome. Uh, I have watched a bit of his movies. I haven't seen all of them, but it was, it was really nice seeing him again. And you know, the joke about him being the one and only Blade. Not, not for long though, because um, the new Blade MCU movie is going to come out soon. Now, I know this cameo was technically already confirmed before the movie it was even done finishing, but it was still really nice seeing Jennifer Gardner as Elektra. Uh, she was in the Daredevil movies back in the early 2000s. Uh, I've seen a couple of those. Um, yeah, it was nice seeing her. She has aged. But hands down, the funniest and my favorite cameo was seeing Chris Evans back as the Human Torch. You know, he comes into this movie, everyone thinks, is this Captain America? Is he going to say Avengers Assemble? And then he says Flame On, turns into the fucking Human Torch, and gets his ass kicked. He, had, he probably has some of the funniest scenes in this, in this whole movie. Even the after credit scene with him fucking swearing his ass off was super funny. They, they, they kill him off in a really funny way. Um, yeah, it, it was nice seeing him. I was not expecting that. We finally get to see Wolverine in full costume, including the mask. Uh, that was really surprising. I, I honestly thought he wasn't going to wear it because it took him like two and a half hours to put it on. But he does put it on. He does get rid of the sleeves and he looks amazing. Some of the CGI was a bit weird. I wasn't a fan of that bus scene where they jump out of the bus and, you know, the CGI. That, that was kind of weird. But this movie has a massive budget. So, you know, and there's a lot of cameos, a lot of actors you have to pay. It was fine. Uh, I love all the Deadpool variants, Baby Pool, Kid Pool, Blake Lively, Lady Deadpool. That was really nice. Overall, this movie was really great. I give it like a 9 out of 10. This is a fucking masterpiece right here. Uh, 
thank you so much, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman for letting Canada and Australia see this movie early. That, that was really nice. Go see this movie. Do not miss out on the chance to see this movie. This is the best MCU movie in a very, very long time. Even though at the end, they don't really even go to the MCU. They kind of stay in the Fox universe. I wonder how they're going to, you know, work with that in the next Avengers. Anyway, I really like this movie. Um, did it save the MCU? No. Just because it, it's a good MCU movie doesn't mean they're going to cancel the other movies coming out like Ironheart, Thunderbolts. Those movies are still going to happen regardless of this movie's success. It did not save it, but it's a fucking great movie. Go watch it. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys next time.